guys welcome back to my let's play world here on llama tales wow it's awesome to have you back with me here again guys today i need you guys to join me on building a raid farm because i need totems and all the awesome goodies with a raid farm but I'm very scared of doing raids. Now, I don't know about you, how good you are at raids, but I suck at them. Really, I do. But I am practicing my skills offline, swinging my sword and trying to just get a little bit better at doing that. But let's be honest, that they are really difficult to kill, especially the witches. I don't like them. So I decided that I'm just going to put up a beautiful raid farm here in the middle of my base where I can just run down and do a quick raid. It's easy for me to get the goodies and it's less dangerous. It's still dangerous, but less dangerous. So guys, I'm so excited for you to join me today. I think we're going to have so much fun in this Let's Play World series today. So guys, first thing first, I need to jump away with digging out the base. Now, what's important with this raid farm is... Uh, you would activate the raid and you would be all the way down in the in the bottom and then uh, the pillagers will come running to the village in the middle and then there would be some lava to kill those funny i don't know what you call them uh, 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 uh not the raid captain but that funny creatures that has like four legs I don't, I don't really know what you call them but they really scare me and 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 then the lava would actually kill them and then i would get to kill the the rest of the pillagers at the bottom but they would fall far enough to be like a one hit kill. So, but yeah, now the base, okay, this base is looking good. Now I just need to drop that villager in. Yeah, this is looking good. You know, I think this is a really good spot. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think this is a really great spot. I really love my world. My world looks so cool. All right, now let's get the hole in the center. So right now I need to dig out a hole right in the center. Uh, from here and then I would drop the villager in there. Don't worry. I mean, I'm very good to villagers. I will give him a bed. I will give him some thing to do while he's in the hole. And um, I've already agreed with one of my villagers that he would come and live here and he would help me with my raid farm. So I still need to go and do those negotiations with the villagers. But I'm sure one of them would love to come and help me out with this project. They are such good villagers. They absolutely love helping me out every now and then. All right, this is looking good. I'm really getting a lot of progress done, guys. So guys, so far we have been, we've done a couple of episodes and I am really enjoying this world. All right, now the hole is ready for the villager. He can do some archery and he has a nice little bed to stay in now it is the most difficult part of this entire project is convincing a villager he needs to come and live here so let us get a rowing to my village and hopefully i will have a willing villager wanting to come and help me with the raid farm although my villagers are really friendly they tend to not buy into all my projects that I would like them to do. So whenever I do pitch a project to them, it normally involves me capturing them in a boat and sailing them away. So I think they're all afraid of boats. They don't normally come close to me when I have a boat in my hand. So this time I'm going to have to sneak one in. Let us see. Let's, let's see. Which one can I get today? I don't think I'm going to convince my farmer because I've been trading with him a lot. I'm sure there's a new little baby that just grew up that I can maybe, you know, make use of. Where are my villagers? Oh my gosh. What? What? Guys, just look at these lazy golems. They are literally standing in a hole. That is not your hole. You guys are supposed to be protecting my villagers. And I'm only seeing two. I wonder if you guys were lazy and now my villagers died. I am sure you guys are lazy. And for that, you will have to be struck down. Because how dare you stay in a hole and not protect my villagers. That's the only... Oh gosh, this guy's far away. One thing I found with golems is you need to be very careful. They have long arms and they hit really, really hard. Like, seriously hard. Come on. Huh? What is bumping? What's bumping me? What? 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 
I'm sure. No, no, it's not you. Oh, you. You, Mr. Sheep. You almost bumped me in and I would have died. All right. I think, I think my farmer is onto me. I think he's onto me. I think he knows I want to take him. So, guys, after a lot of negotiation, I eventually got a farmer and I got him into my boat and I completed my raid farm off camera because the rest was pretty much just boring, I would say. But um, I did go back to my base because I have been catching some pillager, uh, pillagers in my boats and then I get to activate a lot of raids. So right now I'm going to be activating a raid and I want you guys to join me in this raid and see how good this farm actually works. I think this is going to be super duper. Let's just hope... I don't die because sometimes I get a bit too close to to them and then the ravages or wait a ravages yeah ravages are those horrible things isn't it um but the, the guy that does the fairy things um he then ends up hurting me and killing me so but I'm sure today is gonna go fine you know I don't think we're gonna have any any issues today so let's uh, see. Oh, I need to set my spawn, guys. This is so important because if you do die, you don't want to be going back to all the way to a far right place. Right, well, let's wait. Let's wait. I'm sure there's going to come some guys through now. Uh, this is exciting. I always like to do these raids because you never know what goodies you're going to get. The one pro tip, guys, if you do decide to build your own raid farm, is kill the witches quickly. Because they end up healing everybody and then there's these fairies all over and it's just a whole mess. It literally happened in one of my other videos. I do think I have a video, an earlier video on where I literally died 45 times. Now, I know I'm, I'm trying to set a record on dying enough times in one raid. Um, I do think that I did win that uh, award for dying the most with the raid. But yeah, I think this is going well so far. So guys, a raid farm is really an awesome way for you to gather some XP. Um, it's also a great way for you to gather some resources and get those awesome totems. It's also a great way to get saddles. I end up actually getting a lot of saddles for every raid. But I was taught a little trick that just before you activate the raid, you actually change your settings from easy or or medium to hard. And then you actually get a lot more raids coming through and you get a lot more goodies. So yeah, that was a trick my son taught me and I use it all the time and it really pays off because at the end of the day I've got a chest full of loads of totems and uh, all types of goodies. Oh wow, this is going really well. The distance is good and I'm getting to kill them one shot. So this is really, really awesome. And the raids are loading really well. The biggest challenge with any raid farm is when you don't get everything right so there's ho some holes or stuff oh, there we go look at the xp the xp is rolling in guys this is awesome i love my raid farm it is i'm able to kill them at a safe distance oh there you are you see that witch you gotta get that witch guys you gotta get her the moment she falls in so oh look at all the goodies oh oh there you are get it. come you see i i i just looked in my chest and she already started heating herself. You've got to catch those witches. You must be on guard for them. Other than that, um, you know, a raid farm is a great way to collect a lot of these goodies. And to do it at a safe distance. So if you don't like battling um, raids, then this is a really great way for you to actually get all the goodies. And also get that hero of the village achievement every time we you do buy a lot of things from your villages a lot cheaper so i absolutely love my red farm so far everything seems to be working really well <clears throat> but back now when you do build the raid make sure that the area that you're using so pro tip number one is to make sure that you don't have any holes around the area so normally i like to take an area that has a lot of water all around it because that ends up me not having to close so many holes and because it's a challenge if there's any caves or anything at the bottom you will literally end up chasing after these guys and they will kill you they are really difficult to kill well I find them difficult maybe you are a pro but for me it is really really difficult to kill them 
but so far it is looking really good this raid farm is a success look at all the goodies i got how many totems i've got some crossbows um i've got some saddles so this is really awesome i think this raid farm is doing really well the xp is coming in and it is an overall success i think this was a really good decision to build a raid farm now i know it was not on my list but if i got shot by another pillager out of my boat i was gonna scream so i needed to do this this was a quick side project but look at the goodies guys look at the saddles and the totems and the emeralds so this is really really cool thank you so much guys for joining me today in this beautiful build it was so much fun building this raid farm and it was awesome having you with me here today and sharing all the good stuff i got onto guys this is turning out to be an awesome world i'm really really enjoying it and it is great to have you here guys so please if you haven't subscribed please take the time to subscribe give this video a thumbs up i am a small channel and i want to reach more people but guys as we finish up today's episode i just want to thank everybody that has subscribed thank you for joining my community and as always guys ciao ciao